good snowy morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Um, this is what I'm walking to, walking through. On the way to the Orange Theory class. 90 minute, my first 90 minute one. Um, got a bagel, my shoes, Trojan. It has been a while since I've trudged through snow. That's a workout in itself. Well, luckily I planned for it. So I gave myself an extra like 10 minutes not wearing my shoes through the walk. So you don't mess up the equipment. I got jeans on, obviously I'm not gonna work out in jeans. That'd be ridiculous. Whew. It's beautiful though, but I like this at Christmas time. I have a very short uh, span of acceptable snow time weather, and it gets fleetingly short after the new year. But this is pretty gorgeous. Whew. It's got a little flurry going on, but a lot of the businesses have shoveled since. I went to class, so it's a nice, much better walk home, but I am definitely wiped out and walking home in my shorts <laughs> rather than putting my pants back on. I don't even care. All right, so that was my first 90 minute class. Um, those are like typically, my friend Carolyn, cause she's the Orange Theory aficionado that I know, um, was telling me that like, they focus on all three areas there, the floor, the tread and the row, whereas a typical 60 minute class kind of focuses more so on Two of the three. Oh, that was brutal. There was one moment there at the uh, um, on the floor, which it was like my last portion. Where, like I had to stop for a whole like sixty seconds to just like take a breather. My heart rate was not like was not fluctuating like it was supposed to. Like it was just staying high, and so that makes you uh, get winded even if you're not necessarily doing cardio at that moment. Um, but I feel good. It's definitely a good way to start your Sunday, I guess. So that's your thing, and apparently it is, it is mine. James, you ready to go out in the cold? You look, you look pretty content there. All righty, you're on the go. It is our first time venturing out in the city with a baby in the snow. And also we haven't been out and about, so it's exciting. One thing I forgot, as a Chicagoan, is the constant fear of falling. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm very nervous. You got nice shoes on. Yeah, but it's slippery. This is the lunch menu. We ordered the fried pickles. And then Sarah's actually gonna get the house poutine. Mm. It's divine. <laughs> with the French toast from the brunch menu, because it's the weekend. And I ordered their like house old fashioned to have with my brunch too. I'm gonna get the grilled veggie sandwich. Oh my goodness, we got the fried pickles and they look so good. Peter got his drink. Beautiful, classic. Yeah. And then my Coke came in this little cute bottle. And these are totally my glasses. 
Maybe this is where I got the idea from all those years ago. We haven't been here in like, what, five years? Yeah. We've got a fried pickle fan. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This looks like Tonga toast. Um, this is caramelized pear French toast. Looks so yummy. Me and Jamesy are sharing this. And I got some poutine. Yeah, I love pickled onions so much. I think there's jalapenos on there as well. And here is my grilled veggie sandwich. There's a basil aioli on there that I can't wait for. And I upgraded that to truffle fries. So those are not just lowly old street fries. Those are truffle fries. And this pickle will probably end up being split between Sarah and James. Down here in the basement. They have a bunch of their little accolades. This is just so us. Nice little lounge. They're cute. Just cute little benches. Just so nice. frozen out. <laughs> Truly. I didn't even look at the actual temperature. I saw in the CTA it was like 15 degrees. Yeah. We are walking it off to the Shed Aquarium because we are officially Shed members. Aquarium members. Yeah. So get ready for some aquarium yeah. vlogs. The penguins aren't open today which I'm a little peeved about. We'll just have to come back which yeah. we can because we're members. So I'm gonna drink my coffee that Sarah's been holding. Oh, you spilled it all I over the place. It all over the place. <laughs> I think James is too cold to fall asleep, but he is about to fall asleep any moment. And the gauge, always a win. So good. Anybody who comes to visit, it's very like touristy because it's right on Michigan Avenue, right across from Millennium Park. But so. I feel like it's touristy, but not like location is touristy. Yeah, but, location like, is touristy, but it but is. It's just like classic Chicago yeah. vibes. Yeah. Such good food. Yeah, my soul is cold. <laughs> This is really cool. There is this hill. We're like pretty close to Roosevelt. We call that the lipstick building. Um, but there's this hill and there's a bunch of people sledding. No. You don't gotta live in the suburbs to sled. Let's go sled. So we took the 11th Street Bridge over this way. And I really, I really don't think we've come to museum campus much since we've so vlogged. Enough, this is the weird thing, and I know I'm talking over here, I'm sorry, but like, we have not been to museum campus. Yeah. I've been a lot because of my running. Right. This is like my long But not run. to enjoy or to share, yeah. like, look at that, that's beautiful. Yeah, but like, I've Lake run front. through this numerous times. Yeah. This is really cool tile. That is cool tile, look at it. <laughs> this, is, this is like the symbolic version of Chicago is the best tap water. Heck yeah. We made it. We really haven't been over here in a long time. I like don't remember even a lot of it. Let's see Soldier Field, Field Museum, and this shed. This is really cool if you're visiting Chicago. You can get a city pass and you pay much less money to do all the big ticket items here. Here we are at the Shed Aquarium. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You can have your wedding here. And I think we should go dive right into the Caribbean. What do you think? Sure. So you walk in through the lobby and there's this big old Caribbean reef. And there's all these rooms off the side, so we're going to start Amazon Rising. It was just National Polka Dot Day. Those are so beautiful. Wow. I don't know if we mentioned it, but James did fall asleep, even though his eyes are wide open. Big tortoises. These fish are huge. Is that taller than me? Yes. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. Yeah, I don't like. This is in the Amazon. Like, 
real life. Real? I can't trust anything. I tell you, I'm more afraid of water on Earth than space. Hello. What's the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? No idea. Let's find out. We're now in the river home of the small fish. So they're all cute and stuff. Look at them go. So away. Make the sign of the Sydney Theater. What do you say? Go. Now we're waiting for something to come up on this iPad to tell us what these crazy fish are that are on top of the water with their creepy eyeballs sticking out. <laughs> the ocean creeps me out. This is the Amazon River. Still creepy. Those are cool though, but what are yeah. they? This is where it's at. All these little colorful fish. I love it. Look at this fish's name. The monkey face prickleback. There's a legitimate flotsam and jetsam right here. Wait a minute. Their bodies go all the way back there. I didn't know anemones could like literally move like that. That. It's a miracle. Really? Straight miracles. Whoa, oh, I just read something that said seahorse eyeballs can move independently, independently of each other. Oh, did you see a wreck around that leaf? Seahorses. Forever. If you guys, if you know that YouTube video, we're automatically friends. Total nation. Look at these. Ooh, this one's cold. Drying off. Did you know I used to have a pet turtle? Yeah. Well, it was Christina's. You guys had a pet turtle? Yeah, his name is Myrtle. Huh. Really original. Oh yeah, here we go, some alligators. Six oh. inches at birth, they grow a foot a year. That's fast. Ooh, look at this one, it's like, come look at me. I'm basking in the heat. His name is? Raphael. Okay. Sarah wanted me to show you the creepy fish with the really big foreheads. They just look like they have headaches. I've always <laughs> like thought that. that's how you feel when you have a headache. Yes. Like how that looks. Ever since I was a little kid. Look at this slithery snake underwater. Ooh, I think it spotted us. Ugh, it's moving. Sarah loves things with big noses like these paddlefish. So that lives in the uh, like Illinois it. River. In the Mississippi, really? yeah. Look at that big, what is that back there? Big, is that a shrimp? It's like a freshwater crab. Mm. Ooh, someone's trying to get the limelight. <laughs> yeah, I love that snout. It's a paddlefish. Yeah, it's and like, like the restaurant. <laughs> okay, we're about to go into a wild reef. Right at the front there's these jellies. Nice squishy. special love for sharks because that was my softball team's like oh, yeah. name growing up like from the time I was preschool until I graduated high school my softball team's name was the sharks my mom could draw a sick shark for a poster Whoa. We're about to go see the best part, which for me, which is like the sea lions, the otters, the belugas are my favorite. Yeah. And the dolphins. Sea lions are my favorite. This is, I think, the coolest part of the shed is this big oceanarium. Oh! The sea lion is doing tricks. Look. so cool because you can see the lake like outside the window and then obviously the big tank is right here and it like continues it's just a really cool view I always thought like thought that the dolphins were an extra ticket I wonder if that's just like a COVID thing they don't have like big big shows but this is cool underwater 
Big jellies. Gorgeous. Love it. And little one. I will call you Squishy. And it will be my Squishy. The sun is setting. There is a Starbucks here with some other drinks. And I think our friend is awake. We're gonna take a little rest. Oh. <laughs> Wakes up to a brownie. It's a nice yes. look. Nice brownie. What can I have? You can have some of mine. We're going to redo the jelly section. Wow. This is so great. <laughs> the finger is ready to point. these last time. These are beautiful. Is it cool? Hey. There's another one. See? Flocking backwards. So is that one. <laughs> How are these real? Peter was most excited for the otters in there. No, I was excited for you for the otters. They're your favorite, right? No, sea lions are my favorite. Well, I like otters too, I like but the blue they're whales. they're relaxing. Yeah, let's go to the blue whales. Do you see those whales? Want to see underwater? Ooh! Wow! Oh my god! Oh, the dolphin boat. Where's my dolphin? Like Ooh, find the dolphin. Ooh. Ooh. What? I don't think we've brought him into the seas at Epcot, like where he's been big enough. No. He's been in there, but just not, not big. Okay, now we went down one more floor. We're gonna see the underwater view. Wow! <laughs> so cool! <laughs> Upside down! Close in 10 minutes. So we're taking one last whoa, stop at the Caribbean Reef. Oh my goodness. We left the shed. They just started to turn. They're kind of bogus. They're kind of like, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Yeah, things just started like doors closing, yeah. like turning off or like, oh. An hour before it closed, they started to turn the lights off in that little Starbucks place where we grabbed those drinks and snack in. And then they started just like closing off areas. Like, which I get like. They want to go home. They want to go home too, but like. There was like no Emporium complex, which means like the Emporium on Main Street stays open a full hour after the park. So we were hoping to like peruse the gift shop. Yeah. But that was close too. Second time in two days, Florida's calling to us. Here's a Tampa Bay <laughs> advertisement amongst. Where is this taunting us? Right, us pushing the shore through. Oh, that is our bus. <laughs> oh no. Dude. Oh. Worst fight of the day is putting the baby's gloves back on. <laughs> we just we have all we have is those the short walk home from this target. We are home and we are beginning our Mamma Mia movie marathon as we wind down from the weekend. I'm gonna make sushi bowls for dinner, like veggie. Really, just have to cut up stuff and cook rice. All right, sorry, this is on my phone, um, but I just made a quick dinner, like literally 22 minutes. 
Um, I am waiting for the white rice to be done, but honestly, the, the timer should go off any second. Um, so I realized I didn't have like a good protein for this. So I'm making sushi bowls. I didn't like have tofu or avocado. So I quickly seared up some mushroom and I made like a soy sauce, honey, ginger, garlic, um, red pepper flakes, like little concoction that I'm going to put on those. The kitchen is a mess. So I'll, I'll show it, but it's a little bit embarrassing to be honest, the state of our kitchen right now. Um, but that is just sometimes reality. Um, but I will show you a fully constructed bowl, but I also made some spicy vegan mayo, which is the vegan mayo, sriracha, and a tiny bit of water. So it's not like, you know, it's just a little bit thinner. Um, sliced up cucumbers, we have carrots, and I'm also going to put like everything but the bagel seasoning on it instead of just like sesame seeds. It's got good, it's got good other stuff in there too. So very simple, but yummy bowls for dinner. Again, like deconstructed sushi bowls. Okay, here are our bowls. I put mine like separate. I kind of like the deconstructed vibe. I know Peter's gonna mix it all together anyways. So there's his and mine. Alrighty, Peter has Orange Theory at six in the morning tomorrow. So he will not be signing off with me. He's already snuggled up. Um, yeah, today was a great day. It was a cold day. I'm actually gonna sleep in the sweatshirt because our 100 year old partner apartment is very cold, even with our, our heaters on tonight. And it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>